quick video for the laser here. Got a box in. It's fairly large for a knife that I would, you know, not necessarily think that a knife would come in, but the bigger, the safer, I guess, you know, you can't lose it that way as easily. And it's obviously gonna protect the internal box from any damages and things like that. Um, but I did cut open a lid already, but to do so, I use this nice guy here. This is the TRM Neutron with some micarta scales. Let me finish cutting open this box. Unboxing for the laser. Oh, daggum, there's a lot in here. This empty USPS box. An O light gator. An O light I1R2 EOS. A keychain flashlight. That's like 20 bucks. Come on. This is the real thing. So you got a couple scales that come with it. I believe these are the original scales. And then it came with this cool bead, titanium wee bead. And there's another scale there. That's cool. Micarta. It's kind of heavy. Let's see what's on it. Hinder Jurassic, baby. Let's see if I can get that detent ball over onto the ramp. Kind of a cool little piece. It's like the XM18 with more finger grooves or like deeper finger grooves and a deep spine and the shorter handle um, pretty neat you gotta practice holding it properly getting my hands in the right spot for it but there's like no jimping you know how there's tons of aggressive jimping on that XM18 you got some jimping up here on the blade spine but not on the handle scales which I honestly prefer um, one thing that from the get-go I would prefer is maybe some jimping on this flipper tab. It's smooth. No jimping there. But it does feel like a less aggressive knife than the XM18, which I kind of like. Um, I think because it's a little more compact than the XM18, not as long, the kind of like girth of it feels different and it feels almost like chunkier rather than the XM18 might be a little thinner, but it also could be because this aftermarket scales on here. So I'll see what it's like. This one is in 20 CV and I'll keep you updated. See you, buddy.